run, 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 run. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the ACS Universe. I'm Anthony, a.k.a. ACS, and Logan. Uh, I can remember really well, like, the thoughts I had in my head as I walked out of the, the uh, movie theater watching Logan for the first time. I was speechless, pretty much. The only words I could come out was, it was, it was awesome. So me and the people I'm with, that's all we just kept saying, oh man, it was awesome, man, it's awesome. Um, one of the best, not just comic book movies, but movies I've seen in my lifetime. And I was very impressed by the direction they decided to take Logan and Professor X in this movie. And by the way, the music you hear in the background, that's like the menu playing because I like that music. <laughs> I thought it might sound good on this video. Um, I got my trusty list here. Make sure I hit all my points. Man, this movie, it's always gonna hold a place for me, man. Just because like, you think about Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart, you know, growing with this role 17 years. But that's the same with regular people who watch the movies, who went to the movie theaters and watched all of these movies that they were in. You grew with these characters so it's 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 like a a circle of growing, and I'm glad to say I was a part of that. You know what I mean? Because I I've seen every one of the X Men movies in movie theater. Um, some of them were not as good as others, I will admit, but I still have witnessed the evolution of Wolverine in film format, and this was the the great send off. Um, if you didn't notice in the description, there is spoilers in this. So if you don't want spoilers, then step away if you haven't seen Logan yet. Um, this is straight up just my Blu-ray review. Uh, I got it. And by the way, I don't know if you you know if you guys like to buy Blu-rays and things of that nature. Target always has the best, the best versions of them. I mean, I got my BBS and Suicide Squad. It comes with a book. This one right here, Logan. You know what I mean? Blu-ray comes in this, in this, uh, Jesus, really tight. Comes in this, uh, neatly packaged black book. You know what I'm saying? You open it up, Logan Noir. This was not needed to make the movie better. The movie's already awesome. But this is extra cool, though. It's like that, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I just purchased this great-ass movie. I can watch it whenever I want now. But also been watching it in black and white. This shit's cool. Watched it last night. The movie came out yesterday on, on Blu-ray. Watched it last night. It is great. It is great. Um, but anyway, it comes with this book. You know, a bunch of black and white pictures, some words, another disc in the back. Um, this was a great buy. I think it was like 20 bucks at Target. Most In most places, it's about the same price, but Target's the only one that gives you all of this cool stuff. Um... Where do I begin? This is going to be pretty brief. Patrick Stewart was on point. It's 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 crazy the relationship between him and Logan that you see in this movie. Um, it's like back in the first few X Men movies, it was Patrick Stewart taking care of Logan, and now it's Logan taking care of Patrick. You understand what I'm saying? So the roles have been reversed. He is crazy. He has this thing where he has seizures, and his seizures are like, it's the most powerful mind in the world, so his seizures are like, sends people into shock. It, it kills people, basically. And they kind of allude to that one of his seizures might have killed the X-Men. That's why there's not too many of them around. Um, but their relationship is great. Professor X's performance is on point. Um, man, Hugh Jackman. I don't know what else I can say about him. He has entertained me for years, not just in, in X-Men movies, but in other movies. He's a great actor. He brought this role to life. And for the rest of my life, I, it's probably going to be pretty difficult for me to see anybody else's Wolverine. Now they, they're going to get, I'm sure, in the next few years, get somebody else to play him. But as far as me seeing Wolverine, it's Hugh Jackman. It's always going to be. Uh, Daphne King. 
you need to get this Blu-ray so you can watch these special features and, and see her audition tapes. They are fabulous, tremendous. She brought so much to the role that I didn't expect. She could go from savage to straight another level. It's just, her performance is great. Daphne Keene in this movie is awesome. Um, The actor Boyd Holbrook, who plays Pierce, you know, the dude with the hand who's after after uh, Laura, he, he's pretty good in this movie. I like it. He has this, this little country act. It, it, he, his role goes over well, even though you hate him most of the movie. I could enjoy old dude's acting in its place. Let's see. The foul language in the movie, I mean, it was on rated R. I love the way they used it. It wasn't over the top. I don't think it was overused. It was, it was, you know, as a matter of fact, in some of these special features you're going to see on here, you'll see where Hugh Jackman says, oh, yeah, you know, we want you to play Wolverine in this movie, in this movie, and they're going to do this stuff, and it's going to be rated PG-13. And Hugh Jackman's like, Wolverine didn't do anything that's rated PG-13. And he's right, pretty much, for the most part. Um, they, the language is pretty bad. It's pretty awful. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't think this is a kid's movie. You know, Daphne King is like 11. But she is straight tearing fools up. Um, the language, I like the way they used it once again. This is very, very different from any other comic book slash superhero film I've ever seen in my life. It's just different. It's just, it, it's, it's, it has the elements. There, Wolverine and Charles Xavier from comic books, X-23, are in the movie. Has a lot of action, but a lot of serious parts. And the thing about it is, Logan, Professor X, and Laura, X-23, work so well together that even in the movies where people might say there are slow points, they're not really slow because of their chemistry and their, the way they, they, they explode on the screen. It keeps the movie moving along. Um, It's the movie holds something for me, man. So just thinking about them, the way they would talk to each other, and it's some, and a lot of the times it's 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 they're being assholes to one another, but and it, it, as a whole, you can see there's some love and there's some caring there. Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know, maybe, but I don't think I'm ever gonna see another movie based on comic book characters done like this. They took so much careful care with making sure that this story was told and these characters weren't abused in any kind of way. Um, Man, uh, James Mangold's previous film, uh, The Wolverine, I liked it too. Not as much as this though. This is great. Uh, the movie is rated R. And it's a nicely done rated R movie. It's nicely done. There's nothing in this movie that is there just to get an R rating. Like it had to be as savage as it was. Uh, and it is savage. It is very, very savage. Um, so my favorite scene personally in this entire film is at this hotel casino. Logan has left to get rid of the car they had and purchase a new vehicle. When he gets back, he notices that the people who are out to get him are there, and then Charles has a, starts having a seizure. Logan has to travel from the ground floor all the way up to their hotel room, and him and X-23 are pretty much the only people that can survive these seizures, so they, he travels up, and it's, it's, it's kind of like representing the entire movies that he's, he was, he calls his way down the hall, and he's fighting against it all just to make it there, and it's, it's, it's almost like Professor X had the seizure on purpose just so he could hold everybody at bay until he got there. This is, it's almost like a team, to me it's like a team bonding experience because he gets in there, he fights through, she struggles and hands him the syringe for the medicine, he gives it to Professor X, it's done. But, while he is traveling to Professor X, there are all these soldiers with weapons and they can't move because the way his seizures affect normal people, they can't do anything. So, <laughs> Logan just goes through here, murking cats, claws to the great scene, great scene. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's super intense. That's my favorite scene in the movie. 
You know, not to say there aren't any other good scenes, but the entire movie, in my opinion, is great. But that scene in particular, um, there's some deleted scenes. There's one where the dude, this little kid, talking about, did you fight Sabretooth? And it's kind of cool. Um, another deleted scene, <laughs> they call it the Puppet Master, some kid that can like take over people's minds. He makes the soldier who's about to kill him turn around and kill his people and then shoot himself in the head. I kind of wish they would have kept that in there because that shit was nice. That was a nice little scene. Um, that's, that's about all I can say, really. Uh, if you're into Blu-rays, if you have seen, go buy it. Download the digital copy. Do something. This movie is great. It is way up there with me. I don't know if I can put it in my top five yet of comic book films because there's a certain movie coming out next week that I'm waiting on. So we'll see. It is great. It is up there. It will always hold a special place in my heart. And not just comic book films, but the film itself. Just because of the way, you know, they... They did Logan's death so great. Him and Professor X have a scene in the film where he says, this is what happiness looks like. And then and right at the end, he's holding uh, Laura's hand and he's about to put his last breath out. And he says, so this is what this feels like. And it, it is so perfect, so perfect. And then he's buried. She says some words that she learned from this Western movie and then his cross is sitting there and she goes to walk away and picks up his cross and turns it on the side. <laughs> Woo! Tremendous. I love this movie. I'm just looking at the, <laughs> looking at the little menu. Um, if you like this review, you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe, comment, like it, share it with other people. Now, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at 2279ACS. Logan is a fucking beast, 10 out of 10, straight up. A strong, strong 10 out of 10, too. So until next time, ACS Universe, out. Run, 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 run.